Straight in the bucket if you can. We're gonna know and it looks like what is that? Engine on the side for a minute. And then what we're gonna do is So what's going on everyone, welcome back to YK Variation. As you know, we've got the YK family and one of them's been shifting very hard <laughs> with that vid, so he's, uh, he's just gonna have to sit and watch this time, but the rest of them are here. We'll sh put a quick video up, show you what's wrong with the quad. Right, so as you've, as you've seen, it pops out of second gear. We've chained the oil on it already previously. That didn't cure it. We put new oil, new oil filter in it. That it still kept popping out of gear. So what we're going to actually do today is, yeah, is actually rip the engine out and give it to a friend to see if he can open it up and see what's wrong inside the gearbox. Because quad bike gearbox, gears and gearbox is inside the actual engine so you have to like remove the head and actually cr crack the engine open in two pieces i'm not that experienced to do stuff like that so i'm gonna i'm gonna give it to a pro so he knows what he's doing because otherwise it, it will probably won't even start if we try doing stuff like that so yeah we're gonna go ahead and crack on now we're starting off by taking off the rear plastics to get to the engine easier the carbs at the top on this on this engine so to get out to the old get old shum shum <laughs> to get to the carb easier so we take the throttle cable and all the fuel pipes and all that off. So yeah, we're gonna take that off first. It's got four star key screws on it. Take that bolt off there, that bolt off there, or to remove the plastic from the frame and leave the frame on, you take these star keys off here. So you need to airbox off as well. What? What's going on here, boys? <laughs> some custom made air filter here. Add 10 BHP or something. Alright, oh, alright, oh, I understand why they've got this now. So it doesn't move. So it doesn't move about, so they've put that in there. To hold that in there. What's that air filter like? Smell the fuel. It will smell the fuel, yeah, because they spit a bit of fuel out the back, these. All right, very good lads, very good. Next thing to take off is the exhaust. exhaust. So you yeah. want to take the full, so you want to take the full exhaust off. From the beginning? Yeah, the back, take the back off first. Yeah, yeah. Take the middle pipe off and the front. doing well you lads you're doing really well and now they've took that off you need to take the carb off that's it sorry. oops sorry I spit a bit of fuel on you whatever you do do not play with a lighter okay all right all right so we've kind of figured out to take the rev off need to lift the cable out first from the rev so as if it's revved up and then pull it off yeah this thing literally just pops off that and that pops off hold on there's just this plug here no, that's, that's blocked off or something? oh is that blocked? so this should just pop out of here now then grab that Watch it, it's leaking. What are you doing? Are you stupid or something? Yeah, have a look. What are you doing, man? It's leaking, you daft cow. Right, so the next thing what we need to take off is the clutch cable. 
So what you do is literally just move the adjuster so it comes loose from here and then it should just pop out. So you've got the clutch cable off. Now you've seen there's another intake pipe here. Looks like some sort of vacuum fuel pump or something. Pull that off. Right, yeah, looks like some sort of vacuum pump. It's going to the front there. Sort of fuel vacuum. Alright, that's off. Let's get that out of the way. Remember that goes on there, yeah? Are you remembering? Because you're going to have to put this back together. Yeah, I'll watch the video. <laughs> He's going to watch the video for reference. See, that's another good idea. So if any use that, you can use these videos for that. Right. So next thing, what they're going to take off is... Oh. I need to take this plug off, but... My days. It looks like they've taped it up for waterproof thing. thousand years later it's connected to here this wire here so that's off there right and then it's we've got a plug here unplug this no, it's a lift one, it's a lift one, lift it. So if it doesn't push it, lifts. Right, okay, so now we've got this one off. The next one is... This one. Yeah, this one here. This one here. Right, okay, just unplug that from there. Lift one. Lift, yeah. Lift, pull. Right, okay. Uh, right, okay, so that's off. We've got another plug here. Where is this plug going to? Just unplug that. You know what that plug is? No. It tells you you're, you're neutral when your bike's in neutral. So that's your neutral switch. So move these wires out the way now. Move these up here. We don't want them to get stuck when we're taking the engine out. Alright, so that's crank crease pressure pressure. Yeah, take that pipe off. Pull that pipe off. Right, okay. Yeah, get 10 mil. Take that live off. We've got earth wire here as well. Take that earth wire strap off, that's an eight. Yeah, go on, give him it now. Take that eight bolt off there. Okay, next, start a motor wire. Right, put that in there somewhere. Right, so we've got that off, we've got that off. Um, is there anything else on the engine? Any pipes on the engine? Any wires? Oh, there's a wire up here. Right, so we've got this plug in here. It looks like some sort of temperature sensor. So we forgot about the reserve. Reserve. Reverse. Serve. Where's it? Wire. Okay, well, I need to pop that off too. So we've got the wire off. Just need to pull this cable wire out, out the way, pull it out of here, right here. Oh, that's the spark plug coil. We might be able to get that off once the engine's a bit free. Right, uh, next thing is oil pipe here, but we'll drain the oil first before we take the oil pipe off. Oil out, water off. Oh, that's it. That plug we've seen. That's off? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're nearly ready. Right, come on, drain the oil. I was just going to say they have magnetic sump plugs, so if there is anything stuck on it, 
We're gonna know, and it looks like. What is that? That's an actual bolt. Grab that. Give me that piece. Yeah. That's an actual bolt that snapped inside. So, must be some gear selector related. We'll find out more when we open it up. This should just pull out, yeah. Right, which way? No. This way? Yeah. Slow, eh? <laughs> it fell down. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, definitely madness Let's mechanics. Madness, madness mechanics. Madness mechanics. Yeah, madness mechanics. It's got any bits in it? Yeah, I don't know. No, they're bubbles. What was that? I'm bubbles. smelling it. You said bubbles? Sorry, bubbles. <laughs> bubbles? <laughs> what do you call it? Bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said? Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. Not wobbles. <laughs> bubbles. Bubbles. That's it. Pop the pipe off. Try aim in the bucket because antifreeze is hazardous. We don't want no animals to drink it. Straight in the bucket if you can. Right, oh. Let's open the radiator cap, that should help with the flow. Watch this when I open the cap, yeah? Oh. <laughs> you didn't know that was enough, but did you? Ejecto, cito, curse. Yo, here's a conky behind that. Gunky. Gunky. Why so dry? Head of loosening it and all that just literally open that go and take that link off what are you waiting for oh is that it <laughs> okay all right pull it off no it's a neutral all right let's chain out next engine mounts are ready to take out right so we're taking the engine mounts off We've got bolt there bolt there and then we've got this big bolt here that goes through the whole of the rear swing arm oh, bolt here. we've got one at the bottom as well so we've got three three engine mount bolts one two three four four one big one that's like a swing arm are you pulling it here well i'm not macho man that i'm gonna be able to pull a swing arm bolt out <laughs> well, i'm supposed to walk it how it yeah get some uh, Get it come out a little bit more at least. Have you even got a hammer? Yeah. Go get a hammer. It's going in, you can't hammer it. You wanna do it, yeah? It's going in. To hammer it this side. <laughs> Lift the back end of the quad up. <laughs> Lift the back wheels up and all that. Just shake them about. The wheels, the wheels. Shake the wheels about? Yeah, oh, yeah. The yeah. Oh, and it's coming, it's coming. Right, okay. Let that drop for a second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a spring. This is very good, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a spring. One sec. Eh? Hold it by the spring. Yeah, yeah. Spring's right. Go on, take that front bolt off. Grab it from the way. Lift the back end of the engine up. That's it. Keep going. Do not buy more. I'll try to lift it from the side. Look how that's. No, it's not happening that way. See if you can drop it back in. Is it stuck? Yeah. Leave me off the lift. Here, I'll lift it. You hold it. No, no, you don't lift it. Leave you lift it, sir. So we've got the engine out, thanks to the help of everyone here. So, yeah, let's put this engine on the side for a minute. And then what we're going to do is. What we've already done is put the swing arm bolt back in so we do so we can't move this out the way now. So let's drop the jack. My hands are a bit dirty. Drop this jack. <laughs> Come here, I'll show you how to drop the jack. Twist the jack. 
Twist it left. Slowly. Twist it. There you go. Slowly. Twist it all the way. Pull it out now. Right, let's move all these panels. Let's just get all this all. We're gonna we're gonna put all these away separately anyway. But what I was gonna what I wanted to say is what we need to do now is give it to the professional to strip the engine. So when the engine does get stripped, we can see what it needs doing inside. Get it repaired and hopefully it should be okay. And then put the engine back in. So make sure you like, share and subscribe. Share it with all your friends and family. And we'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned. Peace out. Go on. Pull it down. Pull it what down? The ratchet. Pull it down. Pull the ratchet down, bro. Down. Oh. Hold that, hold that. This ratchet's a bit dodgy, man. Hold that as well. Let go, let go. Yeah, no. Take the ratchet off now. Take the ratchet off the back of the extension. Press the button. Yeah, now grab the extension. Take that ball out. What do we? Left is loose. This. Left is loose, right is tight. Move it, move it. <coughs> that the first ever ball you took off? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> On a quadzilla. <coughs> Look how happy he is. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Let, him, let the boy do something else. You didn't take anything on next. Yeah. <laughs>